Welcome back, my peeps. It's your Nucka Big Rucker here with this dual channel review part two. We're talking about here the main channel, the ruckus, as well as GI reviews with yours truly, the ruckus. This is the unboxing and review of the HasLab, the GI Joe Classified Series HasLab His Tank, the Cobra His Tank. We've already uh, reviewed and put together the His Tank itself. We went extensive, so uh, I figured I'd break it up and make it uh, a two-parter. So here we go. We took care of the vehicle. Now it's time to check out the four figures that we uh, that we got that came with this lovely set. So I'm starting off showing you again the uh, packaging that it came in because uh, yeah, it just uh, it's it's very nice. You almost don't want to mess with it. Fortunately, you can put all this back even after you take out the figures as long as you don't uh, desecrate. The Cobra Commander over there, which I am not going to do. May do that with my second hiss. I may open it up, but I don't think so. I, I, I just don't know. Looks great in that iconic packaging, and that's only the clamshell. We haven't even seen the entire thing yet, but we will momentarily as I uh, set it down, and we're going to uh, go in order from left to right. So, starting off with the hiss. Tactician, and in case you guys didn't know what his stands for, it stands for High Speed Sentry. And uh, yeah, that's what the H and the I stand for, I guess. Uh, but um, yeah, I don't know why they've got, uh, um, you know, periods uh, in between H and, uh, and I, but there it is. It does. So, um, but yeah, that's what it stands for. You see that uh, the artwork, um, it's autographed by uh, the artiste himself, Ron Pudat. I hope I pronounced that name accurately. Uh, here on the back, you see a sketch of the tactician and uh, his loadout. You've got here on the side, Cobra Hiss, 788, yada, yada, yada. Once again, looking at that front, you see the HasLab logo at the top. Coming off on this other side, we've got uh, the icons for... The tactician specialties and you see that 100 down there this right here is the iconic 100th figure in the line if i'm not mistaken it was the tactician who uh we voted on uh, the color scheme so uh this is what we got here and uh very very nice they had all kind of different color schemes this was the scheme that uh i believe uh yeah, I uh, I voted for this. It's been so long, I almost forgot because I can't remember the other uh, options that we had. But uh, you see what we got going on here. Uh, basically, essentially, it's in a uh, dark grayish type of color there. Of course, you got the red highlights, the red belt, the red uh, shoulder uh, epaulets there, the uh, the red helmet, of course. You got that with the uh, silver visor, the black mouthpiece, as you see it coming back around. That chest plate is, uh, you know, it's shiny, glossy black with the Cobra emblem on it. That right arm is uh, sporting a control pad around the wrist area. And that's got some nice uh, applications, which we'll check out when we get a little bit closer. And you see, uh, yeah, the wrist gauntlets got that, uh, that, that same glossy black that the chest plate has. You've got the, uh, the thigh-high boots going on with the red highlights down there on the thighs going down to the ankles and uh, we've got some nice texture line work going on uh, front and back of those boots and of the uh, the, the epaulets themselves so um, yeah that's uh, what the uh, the his tactician looks like if you look over there to our right in the back I'm gonna go ahead and grab it we have this artwork uh, in the, uh, we'll call it the casket, the coffin that they uh, come in, that our figures uh, formally came in. I say formally because uh, they've gone back to the windowed packaging, which uh, everybody's happy about. And uh, But uh, yeah, some nice auric in there. Uh, there are elements of the uh, windowless packaging that I'll miss, and this will be one of them. But uh, I'm happy that we can actually see the figures in the uh, in the packaging now. So there's that. 
And then, of course, we have next up the uh, Foot Locker. So you've got the Cobra His Tactician is on there. Turn it around so you got that number 100. So that's pretty cool. Both sides there. Number 100. So there that is. We'll uh, get uh, the Tactician off the base. We'll check out the loadout. And then um, we will then proceed from there. Peeping the Tactician's loadout. We have, we'll start off with his sidearm, and uh, there we have it. It is uh, molded in black and adorned with red. Next up, we have his uh, primary weapon, which is looking uh, pretty uh, space age there. The magazine is removable, so that's cool. Right there, see it's... Uh, Molded in that same black as the sidearm with the red, and we've got uh, silver paint there at the front. So, pretty uh, interesting uh, weapon there. Then finally, we have a set of fists, and these are strange because they, uh, if you look at the, uh, let me just take one here, and see if you could see that. Not let me get close in. Being close in, you could see what it looks like, but once you look there at the back, there are pegs back there. These actually fit over the arms, over the wrists, so that's going to be interesting to see. And they're pretty oversized fists, so it can definitely uh, deliver the hammer with these. I'm getting out of focus there, but uh, we'll see them in short order. Peeping the tactician close up. Once again, looking at that helmet, that head with the visor, silver, and the red. It's pretty glossy, for sure. Got some nice detail there at the top. And you see the, uh, the Cobra emblem on that chest piece, and that's some nice glossy black. Looking at that right arm, it's the, uh, that, uh, that control pad that I was uh, talking about. He is a tactician, so I'm assuming that he is... Uh, uh, coming up with tactics. We've got some nice green there on the side there. Get it back there so we stay in focus. And uh, you got the nice readout up there as well. Pretty cool all around. And you see that it spins. Some greens and reds on that side. Pretty nice. You got that red belt. The uh, black, very uh, glossy black uh, wrist gauntlets there with some detail on the gauntlets themselves. So there's pretty uh, decent. Let's say you got that red belt. Um, that's all it is is red. So there's nothing to uh, no detail there on any of the uh, the uh, the patches, the pouches. And you've got the uh, the holster also molded in the same color gray as the rest of the figure. Then of course you've got the boots, thigh highs. You see the uh, the detailing in the uh, the boots go down. You got that red, and then of course the uh, the actual feet themselves, which is pretty nice in terms of the articulation. Decent articulation scheme. Head is on head and neck are on uh, dumbbells, so you can look up about that much, look down that much, not very much at all, but you get enough side to side. Of course, you can rotate. You've got 90 degrees at the shoulders in terms of the uh, the uh, butterfly joints. You could rear back that much. As you can see, you can also get it in a nice T-pose. You've got the, uh, the uh, bicep swivel, double-jointed pinless elbows. Get that straightened out. Swiveling wrist, the left hand is the uh, standard horizontal hinge, whereas the right hand with that uh, control pad is the vertical hinge, and they both, of course, have the uh, trigger fingers. As uh, far as your ab crunch is concerned, it is an ab crunch. You can go forward that far, very, very nice. Go back that far, very nice. You also have a waist, uh, you're on a dumb, uh, dumbbell there on a ball joint, and so you can lean with it, rock with it. You can twist and turn, and uh, you can add that to your articulation to get your uh, tactician bent over even more or back. 
As far as the legs go, the hips, you can Van Dam it, as you can see there. They do drop down. You can get it up beyond 90 going forward. You got that much going back. You've got a thigh cut. You've got double jointed pinless knees. Very nice. And check this out. You get a swivel above the waist, at the waist, the uh, ankle, just like that. And then you've got uh, your uh, ankle pivot or uh, goes forward that way goes uh, up that much you do get ankle pivot and you do have holes and if you're looking on the primary channel you know what time it is holes peg holes at the bottom of your feet here's a tactician with both his weapons he's uh, more or less fully loaded out here he is with those rather large fists and uh, like I said they do go over the arms when you uh, install them and that also means that you'll have to take off his uh, wrist control pad the good thing is uh, that means you can uh, put that uh, that control pad on uh, either arm, and like I said, you can uh, you can switch the uh, control pad to either side. You see, I've got it on the uh, left arm now. Next up, we have the driver, the Cobra Hiss driver, and uh, as you can see, this is number ninety nine. I said we were going in left or right order, not numerical. So uh, that's why uh, we started with 100, now we're at 99. You see the sketch and the loadout. The loadout is essentially the same as the tactician's loadout. We've got the same uh, basic uh, box art all around. Uh, you see the, uh, the uh, nice uh, artwork there on the front there. You got Destro there on the back. That, uh, that's the same uh, backdrop that's on the, uh, the packaging for the his tank itself. So uh, yeah, so that's pretty nice. And uh, yeah, that's basically uh, what we got going on with our uh, Cobra Hiss driver. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it is essentially the same figure, just different uh, color apps. This time, uh, its base is the red, all red, and uh, still has the same uh, boots, the uh, same uh, wrist gauntlets. It even has a uh, control pad. Uh, all of his very own as well. You see that the uh, the chest plate there is uh, shiny black, but it's uh, the blue background for a silver cobra symbol. As far as the head, uh, that sculpt is still the shiny helmet. And uh, as we see it uh, come back around, we will take a uh, better look at what we got going on there. Still has the silver visor and the black mouthpiece. You've got black highlights now instead of red, as we with the flip with the uh, tactician, it was the other way around. And uh, that's about uh, the difference. There are differences with the control pad, and I will show you that. As you can see, this particular control pad has got uh, gold uh, emblemage going on there. And then when you spin it around, the, uh, the LEDs are green. Get my fingers out the way so you can at least see that part. There we go, I'll spin it again, and uh, there's uh, some slight red on this side there, but that's about it. As far as the gloves go, you see that the gloves are, uh, they're black and red, so there's some difference there as well. The loadout is exactly the same for the driver as it is for the uh, tactician. Has a uh, side arm, but as you can see, if I can get into some light here, this is just a uh, straight black, not uh, doing very well with uh, keeping it in the light there. My apologies, guys. But there's that, the same type of uh, main weapon, only all black. Of course, the magazine is removable, just like on the other one. The bladed uh, portion of the weapon, painted in silver, so that's cool. And it also has the, uh, the, the beat -em up the beat-em-up gloves. As you can see there, they operate the same way. Because it's the same exact figure as the tactician, we won't go through the uh, articulation because there's no need. We already saw that. I'll come in closer so you could see the, uh, the, uh, the, chest, uh, the chest plate there. So like you see, they got the blue background, and then of course the Cobra emblem is uh, in silver. Pretty nice. Next up, we have the Cobra Hiss Gunner, and this is the uh, distaff 
member of this crew, the female member of this crew. This is number 101. You see the sketch out there. She's got the biggest loadout. And uh, as being the gunner, you would expect. Got the same uh, the same wraparound logos and uh, artwork that you have. The gunner, she's there uh, rocking her, uh, her uh, spaded shovel there. So, uh, yeah, there's her... Um, the uh, icons for her abilities, the number 101, and then once again, back around for the uh, for uh, the sketch of the gunner and her loadout, looking uh, real nice there. As you can see, she's uh, blazing the same color scheme as the driver, uh, even has uh, her own um, control pad, and her control pad is also similar to the driver's control pad in terms of uh, the layout on uh, the pad itself as far as her articulation I could tell you that uh, from the hips on down is exactly the same with the twisting uh, ankles as well as ankle pivot and everything else and then of course at the top she's going to uh, have uh, all of the uh, the same accoutrements in terms of uh, butterfly joints and uh, double jointed pinless both arms and legs she is rocking two vertical hinges on the wrists and uh, as far as um, the ab crunch is concerned well this is a female figure so you already know it's going to be rough going I'll, uh, I'll show that um, when uh, I get uh, past showing her uh, rather extensive loadout and uh, we'll start with the uh, things we're already familiar with that being the sidearm so there that is try to get some light on that I'm telling you I'm hard with my lighting here I uh, apologize but I'm um, still fledgling when it comes to this but yeah that's the side arm and of course she's rocking the same uh, standard weapon we'll call it that the other two uh, hiss uh, the tactician and the driver are blazing and uh, hers is uh, the same black like the uh, like the driver. Of course, the uh, magazine is removable. It has the uh, silver paint apps for the blade. We've got that. And then that's where uh, the similarities kind of end, but not really. She does have the uh, she does have the fists just uh, reduced down for uh, the ladies. But uh, yeah, she does have the fist. They do. They do the same thing. Um, uh, you know, they they peg in. You're gonna have to take off the uh, the control pad in order to uh, rock rock these fists. So there is that. And now it's time to show the differences. She has this doozy of a weapon, and uh, the magazine is already fixed in. So there's no. Removing it, I don't think. Yo, no, it does remove out. Cool. It just came all, you know, in already. So that's nice. So you just peg that in and you have that. You see that it's molded in black. The uh, magazine, I'll pull that out so we can see the magazine a little bit better, is uh, the rounds are uh, red and gold. So that's pretty nice right there. So yeah, that's a nice, pleasant surprise. So, yes, yeah, she's got that weapon, and uh, she can go close quarters on you because she's got this little doozy, too, which is crazy. It's like a uh, pickaxe with a hammer end, and it's spiked. So this is a nasty piece of work right there. She's, uh, she's something serious. Molded in black. It's got texture around the, uh, the, uh, the handle. Like I said, it's spiked on the... Uh, on the uh, blunt end and you could see what it looks like there on the business end once again putting it in the light because I know I just explained it through and it was all darked out my apologies again guys anyway finally she comes with what you see in her uh, box art photography whatever you want to call it the uh, spaded shovel that uh, you looks like a bite out of crime was taken or it, this is intentional because it is serrated, so you do have that. So, you know, I guess she, uh, as she mows you down, she buries you up when she's finished with you. But that's our uh, gunner's loadout right there.
I neglected to show the gunner's casket, but here's the, or as I should say, the driver's casket, but here's the gunner's. So uh, you know how it is. You get that same artwork only inside here. Only this time, I, I should also mention that with these particular caskets, the uh, artwork is in color. Her foot locker. It's got Gunner on there below Cobra Hiss. And, of course, you've got 101 on both sides. And as promised, here's Gunner up close. Just want to show the, uh, the ab articulation or almost lack thereof. You're going to get nothing really going forward. You know, she's got it up there, but as always with the ladies, can never really go too forward. She can go back a little bit. She does have that uh she does have that ball joint there at the waist, so she can lean with it, rock with it, go around, and you can get it to go back a little bit more utilizing that ball joint. And going forward still ain't gonna get you too much, but that's about it. And yes, she does have, like I said, the uh butterfly joint, so I'll at least show that she can rear back that far and uh this is as far as she's going to get closing them in, but that's because you got all of this chest piece going on. So that is the uh, that is our gunner. Here's our girl rocking that uh, that business weapon that she uh, has with the big crazy magazine. You can see, uh, well, at least I think you can see it does have portholes for you to use um, blast effects. Here she is with that crazy pickaxe, and now in an attempt to mimic the box art, here she is with that crazy looking shovel. And there she is rocking those fists. It should be noted on all of the figures, those fists, they do not have any wrist hinges at all. They just peg in and swivel. That's all you get. And last, but certainly never least, we've got the Cobra Commander himself. The Mickey Mouse version on the retro card back blown up to six inch classified series size and uh, you see what we got going on in the back there I got the logo has lab coming back to the front looking very nice we're going to get it off the uh, the rotating base and take a closer look at what we got so here we have it off the base Cobra Commander Mickey Mouse style and as you if you look closely I'm going to try to zoom in on that. Hopefully I won't get too out of focus doing doing. So there you go. You can see uh, the Mickey Mouse logo there. That's where all this comes from. And the same thing is repeated on the figure itself. I don't know if you guys can see that closely enough. But yeah, in terms of the accessories, he comes with a, two sets of... Uh, hands, uh, fists, a pair of fists, a left grasping clawing hand, and a right pointer finger. He's got some kind of crazy looking uh, futuristic gun similar to what you see there on the, uh, the, uh, the card art. Uh, he's got a blade which uh, fits on his left thigh. He's got a, a sheath for that. You can see the, uh, the uh, cobra emblem that is uh, surrounding a globe and uh, then he's got uh, what looks to be a uh, a backpack for that uh, that weapon of his that this blue thing right there so pretty nice the card back is uh, nice and thick turn to the rear and you've got the Cobra logo designed by HasLab and then you've got the little bio Cobra Commander Code name enemy leader, file name classified, primary military specialty is intelligence, secondary specialty ordnance, experimental weaponry, birthplace is classified, grade commander in chief. And then the readout is as follows. Absolute power, total control of the world, its people, wealth and resources. That's the objective of Cobra Commander. This fanatical leader rules with an iron fist. He demands total loyalty and allegiance. His main battle plan for world control relies on revolution and chaos. He personally led uprisings in hot spots across the globe, responsible for kidnapping scientists, businessmen, and military leaders, then forcing them to reveal their top-level secrets. Cobra Commander is hatred and evil personified, corrupt, a man without scruples, probably the most dangerous man alive. I know he's the most craven man alive if you go by the cartoon, 
Uh, and just, I mean, you listen to that voice, and uh, you know that uh, all that we read in the back all comes down to one thing, though. Despite all that, Cobra Command is a straight up weasel. Anybody that's watched the cartoons, you know that I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm telling no lies right now. Anyway, that is uh, the, uh, that is the retro carded. Cobra Commander, Mickey Mouse Cobra Commander, which is not being opened. So look at it and enjoy. Now that we've gone through the figures, it's time to get them in the His Tank itself. I'm going to start with the driver because I think that will prove to be the most problematic. So we'll get him out of the way. First thing I'll do is lift up the guns so the canopy can be... Uh, freely lifted up and I did it again I hit that button that engages the lights so I'm gonna have to go through everything just to get it turned off and hope that I can uh, miss uh, doing that so here we go I've got the uh, I've got the driver right here so I'm going to Get the legs bent and get the arms kind of out of the way and then I'm going to place him in. He's got that, uh, that, that uh, seat belt, remember, and get him to sit. At least I think I can get him to sit. There we go. He's all the way in. The bottom straps are just knocked my camera out of the way my bottom straps are down there like that the top straps the problem is he was sitting on the top straps so if I do the right thing and lift those up and then bring those down and uh, it should it should be relatively easy since the clasp isn't small it's just a matter of having to stretch it to fit and I think I've got it I do I'm going to tilt it so you guys can see him in there you see that he is uh, strapped in now all I have to do is uh, place his hands on his controls and I'll just do that uh, kind of piecemeal him in there I've got uh, the other hand bent, and he's got a control lever in there. I'll just set that right there on top. And uh, that's how the driver's in there, so that's cool. I can place the canopy down now. Slap that in. So now, next up will be our gunner. As I put the main guns back down, I'm going to have the gunner's hands already uh, prepped for holding onto that uh, steering column. And then I'm going to set her in there and have her grasp the steering column if I can do that on camera real quick. It looks like the gunner is going to be the more problematic one. But let's see if I can get it done. See, one of the issues is because there are so many guns up here, they get in the way. You love having them, but, uh, you know, there's a price to be paid. So I'm going to have to uh, fudge it. get at least the hands to be turned normally in there so yeah I had to fudge that and move this out the way because you can't even see girl but yeah she's in there she's in there up there move this so you can at least get a better look at her 
and I did it again. I hit that button. I told, I'm telling you that button is problematic because it's in a place where you will always hit it when you try to move the tank. So I got to go through all of the uh, steps again. There we go. But uh, yeah, I don't know if you can actually see her. I'm going to have to uh, adjust the uh, the camera at some point when I get the uh, the entire finished product, uh, you know, in like that. So next up is going to be the uh, the tactician. I'm going to have the tactician at least wielding one of his weapons, and uh, he'll be checking out his control pad so let me move the his tank back a little bit pull down the uh, the ladder have him up like that raise one of the uh, side canopies for the uh, the driver you guys can't really see I'm gonna to have to like I said I'm gonna to have to uh, adjust the camera so give me a second as I do that and there it is I've got everybody uh, somewhere and the entire tank is in the shot I was afraid I wasn't gonna be able to get everything in the shot but there it is so that is the 2023 G.I. Joe Classified Series HasLab Project 788, the His Tank. And uh, the one thing I haven't done is uh, put on the decals, and I don't know exactly what configuration I want to do that yet. So that's why they're not on yet. So um, we'll figure that out at a later time. But this is what we got going on right now. So uh, you guys, what do you think? Let me know. Did you uh, back this? Do you have yours? Have you... Uh, have you already unleashed yours and started uh, setting it up? I'm anxious to know because this is dope. This set is absolutely awesome. G.I. Joe, the G.I. Joe, the classified line for Hasbro, they are absolutely killing it. Uh, they still, they might be over killing it, but that's a story for another day. Um, right now, this, this, uh, this project is everything we hoped it would be. I'm very happy, very satisfied with it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, uh, like the video, uh, you know what I'm saying? Share this video so others can see it. If you uh, don't have one and you know someone that doesn't, they want to see what's going on, they haven't seen anyone else's video yet um, from the last couple weeks, send them my way. Let them check it out over here and uh, subscribe while you're at it. Uh, this is uh, for both channels. This is a dual channel review here on the primary ruckus, the ruckus, as well as GI reviews with the ruckus. Yours truly, that's myself. And um, so it'll be uploaded to both those channels. You'll be able to check them out either or go to both. That way there's a view on both. It is, uh, you know, in two parts. So check out one part here and check out one part there, wherever here or there is. You know what I'm saying? So do that. You want to be notified when I upload another video and I will be uploading when I get in that uh, fire team because that fire team was meant to go with this set. So uh, that's going to be awesome as well. So um, prepare for that. Anyway, um, like I said, leave comments below. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. I am The Ruckus. This is GI Reviews. And uh, that's how it gets done. Peace.